Hi guys, I'm Komal Bora Shah and welcome back to my channel. So in today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to make spinach rice and along with that, I'll be showing you how to make paprika sauce which is going to be loaded with lots of veggies. It is going to be super colorful, it's going to have lots of nutrition value and also it's going to be a super simple recipe. So let's begin. So now in a pan, I'm going to first start with some oil and once the oil is heated, I'm going to add some chopped garlic. Let's saute this. Once the garlic is nicely sauteed, I'm then going to add some veggies. In goes in some bell pepper, some broccoli, zucchini, carrots. We're just going to quickly toss them and now I'm going to season up with some salt so it cooks faster. We're going to let it cook for around 1-2 to two minutes. Don't overcook them because we want the crunch from the veggies. And now I'm going to add some crushed pepper. So once we're done with the veggies, I'm going to start with the paprika sauce. So first goes in some butter. And after this, I'm going to add refined flour or maida. And this is going to be of the same quantity. And now with the whisk, I'm going to whisk all of it together till the maida is nicely cooked and you get an aroma out of it. And after this, I am going to add in some milk, okay? The milk is at room temperature and I'm just going to slowly whisk it till everything is nicely blended well and we have no lumps. And after some time, you will see it is completely lump free. And now I'm going to add in rest of the milk. Okay, now we have no fear of any lumps because everything is blended and all we have to do is bring the milk to boil and after this I'm going to add some paprika powder or if you don't have paprika powder you can add in red chilli powder and then I'm going to add in some salt and we are done with our paprika sauce guys all we have to do right now is add in your veggies which you just cooked And our paprika sauce is ready guys, it's super healthy and if you guys are very conscious about maida, you can replace it with wheat flour and trust me, you won't be able to find any difference if you add in your wheat or your maida. And now moving on to the last element which is going to be making spinach paste. For that what we're going to do is in hot water, I'm going to boil spinach leaves to the point that it is completely cooked. Okay, we're going to cook it for say 2 or 3 minutes and after that, once you see it is nicely cooked, I'm going to immediately take it off from this and put it in cold water with some ice cubes. So we retain the green color. And once all the leaves are dunked in, I'm going to quickly transfer it this into a mixer or a blending jar. And in that goes in some chilies, some coriander and some mint leaves. Okay, we're going to blend this properly till you get a nice paste out of it. And you see guys, this is how it looks and you see the green color, it is beautiful. And we're almost done with the recipe guys. Now what we have to do is just toss the rice with the paste that we've just made. So to begin with, we're going to add some butter and oil. Then we're going to add some garlic. And some chilli flakes. If you like it spicy, then you can add some more chilli flakes. And after this, we're going to add the paste that we've just made. And 
and now I'm going to add in some cooked basmati rice okay you can use any rice guys it doesn't matter you can use brown rice or normal grain rice and now with the help of a spatula I'm just gonna toss everything together And our spinach rice is ready guys now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna present it I will just show you how to team up both of them together so first I'm adding my spinach rice and then I am going to add in the paprika sauce and that's how you present it guys it is so simple Try this recipe out with some tortilla chips along with some salsa and trust me guys you are going to love it. And I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe out and if you liked my video do write in comments down below as what you guys think and do share it with your friends and family it will mean the world to me. Many many more recipes coming up your way guys so stay tuned until next time. Bye.